Good day everyone! It's another learning episode. Again, this is your teacher Mardin, wishing you all to have healthy body and mind and able to learn. In today's episode, we will discuss the process of solving problems on the properties of parallelogram. As first example, let us consider the parallelogram LODE. Given is the side LO with length measure of 3x minus 5 and side EV with x plus 7 as its length. We are asked to answer the question, how long is sides LO and EV? Since LOVE is a parallelogram and one of its properties is that the opposite sides of a parallelogram are congruent, so, LO is congruent to EV. So, we can solve it by equating the given measures by substitution. LO is equal to 3x minus 5 and EV is equal to x plus 7. By addition property of equality, we will obtain 3x minus x is equal to 7 plus 5. Then 3x minus x is 2x and 7 plus 5 is 12. Dividing both sides by 2, then we get x is equal to 6. Now let us substitute 6 in terms of x. So LO is equal to 3 times 6 minus 5. 3 times 6 is 18, minus 5 is 13 centimeters. Let us do the same with the side EV. By substituting x is equal to 6, so EV is equal to 6 plus 7, which is 13 centimeters. Since LO is equal to 13 and EV is also equal to 13 so they have the same length measure so we have showed that LOVE is a parallelogram then LOVE is congruent to EV let us consider again the parallelogram LOVE this time side OV is given with 2y minus 7 centimeters as the given length and LE is y plus 3 centimeters. How long is side LE and OV? Similarly, the sides of parallelogram are congruent. So LE is congruent to OV. And by substitution, LE is equal to y plus 3 and OV is equal to 2y minus 7. By addition property of equality, we can combine similar terms so that y minus 2y is equal to negative y and negative 7 minus 3 is equal to negative 10. Let us divide both sides by a negative 1. So y is equal to 10. Then, if LE is equal to y plus 3, substituting 10 for y, so 10 plus 3 is 13 centimeters. Same with side OV, which is 2y minus 7. If y is equal to 10, then 2 times 10 is 20, minus 7 is 13 centimeters. Then observe that the opposite sides LE and OV are congruent. Using the data obtained, what is the perimeter of parallelogram LOVE? 
The length of side LO is 13 cm. Side OV is also 13 cm. Side EV is the same as 13 cm. And side EL is also 13 cm. Recall that perimeter is the sum of the length of the sides. So P is equal to LO plus OV plus EV plus EL. Substituting their lengths, P is equal to 13 plus 13 plus 13 plus 13, which is equal to 52 centimeters. And this is the perimeter of parallelogram LOVE. Let us have another problem. Given a parallelogram LIKE with a measure of angle I, which is equal to 2x minus 8 degrees, and the measure of angle E is x plus 52 degrees, find the measure of each angle. Let us have our illustration. The parallelogram L, I, K, E. The given measure of angle I is 2x minus 8. And the angle measure of angle E is x plus 52 degrees. Since quadrilateral LIKE is a parallelogram, the opposite angles are congruent. Therefore, the measure of angle I is equal to the measure of angle E. By substitution, the measure of angle I is 2x minus 8 and the measure of angle E is x plus 52. Combining similar terms, by addition property of equality, so 2x minus x is x and 52 plus 8 is 60. Now let us solve for the measure of angle I by substituting 60 for x. Then 2 times 60 is 120 minus 8 is 112 degrees. This is the measure of angle I. Now let us check if we will obtain the same angle measure for angle E. Let us substitute x is equal to 60. Then 60 plus 52 is 112 degrees. Observe that they have the same angle measure because they are parallelogram. Now, let me discuss another problem. In parallelogram HOPE, the measure of the consecutive angles, angle H and angle O, are x plus 18 and 3x minus 2, respectively. Find the measure of each of the four angles. Let us have our illustration to clearly visualize the given. Let us name the parallelogram H. O, P, E. The angle measure of angle H is x plus 18 degrees. And the measure of angle O is 3x minus 2 degrees. Observe that angle H and angle O are consecutive angles. And the consecutive angles of a parallelogram are supplementary. Since they are supplementary, their sum is 180 degrees. So the measure of angle H plus the measure of angle O is equal to 180 degrees. Substituting x plus 18 for angle H and 3x minus 2 for angle O. Then combining like terms, x plus 3x is 4x. Then 18 
minus 2 is 16. By addition property of equality, so we have 4x is equal to 180 minus 16, which is 164. Let us simplify by dividing both sides by 4. So x is 41. Then, let us get the measure of angle H by substituting x is equal to 41. So 41 plus 18 is 59 degrees. This is the angle measure of angle H. Now, since the opposite angles are congruent, then the measure of angle H is equal to the measure of angle P. So the measure of angle P is also 59 degrees. Using the obtained value in the problem, the value of x is equal to 41. Substitute this in the given measure of angle O, which is 3x minus 2. So 3 times 41, which is 123, minus 2 is 121 degrees. This is the angle measure of angle O. As is stated in the properties, the opposite angles are congruent. So the measure of angle O is equal to the measure of angle E. Therefore, the measure of angle E is also 121 degrees. To check that they are consecutive, let us see if their sum is 180 degrees. So adding the measure of angle H plus the measure of angle O is it equal to 180 degrees. So we have 59 plus 121 and that is equal to 180 degrees. Therefore, the obtained value for the angles are correct. Well, I hope you learned in our today's episode. Always put in mind that problem solving makes you wiser. And for our food for thought, remember, the size of your problem is nothing compared with your ability to solve them. Do not overestimate your problems and underestimate yourself. Thank you for watching. Keep on learning. God bless everyone.